Well, uh, quite a start to the evening. I'm very happy with um, Race for Landings, Race Day. A little disappointed that um, that uh, Green Tea made a break. He, he almost did that on me last week when he got doubled up, kind of got thrown his head and goofing off. And, you know, I was reluctant to make any changes because he is green. He is a little ornery from time to time. And um, I just thought, you know, a couple of starts under his belt, he would stop doing that type of stuff. It didn't work out that way. He made, uh, he did the same thing with John. He kind of threw his head and made a break. So I'll have to work on that. Uh, maybe put the same type of martingale on him that we had on Crantini uh, when he was racing. He was always at that bad too. So uh, something to work with in that regard. Brace for landing. I thought raced pretty good. He get up for second just on the shadow of the wire. Kind of lunged at the wire. I wasn't... Uh, no, I was very happy with the way he raced. You know, I'd like to see the horse come out and win in 53. That'd be cool. But uh, I guess baby steps at this point. At least he found a class he can he can race in and do well in. Hopefully he can stay in there for a bit. And uh, Paycheck Princess made a very kind of odd break leaving the gate. Uh, Atley had told uh, Atley had told Eric that when he doubled him up, he uh, doubled her up. She. Um, she kind of folded up and made a break. Now, he did say that he thought there was some heat in that left curb, and sure enough, she did pop a curb tonight, left hind. So we'll have to cryo that curb. Now, the tricky thing about curbs is you can't just cryo them and drive on. She's going to need a week off minimum. Um, I know that Eric was talking to Dr. Roberts, and he thought that a week off, so miss a week, and by the time you get to that 14-day mark, you can train her up a little bit and put her back in to go. I think that's a fair schedule. So uh, that's the plan for Paycheck Princess. I don't love giving horses excuses, especially her, but she has one. Now we get to Ohio, and uh, <laughs> I go to race balance for all. You know, he's one to nine, but you can't take anything for granted. Coming off the car, I didn't want to put him on the run. He hasn't made breaks, but I didn't want to put him in a bad spot. It looked like uh, Aaron was going to continue on on the front end. Now, I drove that horse last week, and I really, I like the horse. He's a nice horse, but... Uh, I didn't really think he'd match up well with Mounds for all, even in a first over position. And then Jason Thompson moved to the front, which made things even more interesting. It looked like one of the early favorites. It's hard to tell because when you have a horse like Mounds, it's one to nine, takes all the money. It kind of, horses that drift up around 10 or 11 to one, they're not 10 or 11 to one horses. They're now second favorites. This horse was an aged horse coming out of the nominals of two as a five-year-old in Buffalo. Gets around a half, clearly can leave like a thoroughbred and was sitting third, so I'm thinking second over, but he really didn't want to move. As we go around that turn, starting in the back stretch, I thought that his horse was a big horse, and he was taking up a little bit of room, and I had to move the bike over to miss his wheel. And as I checked, Mounds for All, he made a break. Very rare, he didn't really give me any inclination he was going to do it. Now at the time, I thought that maybe the, the horse in the three hole had come out a little bit, and kind of jostled me, I had to move that wheel, I had to move him over. From my vantage point now, albeit kind of biased, uh, it looked to me that, um, you know, you could easily say that just kind of get squeezed a bit and he made a break. Now, that's exactly what they did, but they blamed it on me. I can't. I, I In my mind, playing it back, I thought that maybe I was interfered with, but I have been known to drive a little tight in the past. So if I was to step back, third person, unbiased view, looking at all the track records, maybe it was my fault. Maybe I was a little tight uh, to the horse in the three hole. Maybe I didn't give myself enough room. And when I went to correct a mistake that I made, that I put myself in, uh, Mounts for All made a break. Sounds very plausible now that I say it out loud. Anyway, uh, Joe, very kind, said, uh, Try not to break rule one, which is keep them trotting. But if you do, don't panic. That's rule two. Or maybe it was vice versa. Vice versa. Um, he caught back quick, and there was... Um, I knew when he caught back, he was probably still going to be a winner. I just took a quick glance to make sure that I didn't interfere with anybody. Which I didn't think I did. Uh, he caught back up, and at no point was I worried. I moved him over, and he was, he was gone. He's really starting to turn into a nice horse. If he doesn't, if I don't get jostled... If I do give myself more room and I come with the with the momentum I was coming with, I clear him and I probably win in 56 in a piece. Mounds for All was very, very good tonight. Very focused and actually has turned the page. Remember, if you go back last year, 
this is the mounds for all that had made breaks at the gate had been a little stupid had made just being green and made very immature errors and to be fair the error tonight was mine it appears it's the judge's stance and I, I guess I'm going to side with them um but for that horse to make that error, recover, and and be calm and cool and collected enough not to get too excited. See, what will happen is a lot of horses will make a break there, and then when they try to catch back and take off, they'll hit themselves again and make another break. So for him just to be chill, cool, and calm, as I said, cool and calm and collected, catch back, trot forward, catch cover, stock horses, move over, and open up on them. It's impressive, an impressive mile. So that's our start tonight. We still have, um, it's Tuesday night. We still have uh, Prince Charmer and Sweeney to come. So I'm excited about that. Very interested to see how that's going to play out. Prince Charmer's got the 10 hole double trailer. And Sweeney's got the two hole. So we'll see how those play out tonight. Both those horses are coming in pretty good. I think Prince Charmer is sharp as attack and looking good. And I think... Um, Sweeney's coming in off a, a tightener, looking for good miles from both of those Colts tonight. So, with that, I'll let you guys go. I will talk to you all very soon. It is a beautiful, beautiful night here in uh, Macedonia and in uh, Northfield Park. I will, uh, looks like i got to get this out of the way. I will talk to you all very soon. Good luck to all my partners tonight with the remaining two horses. And also, hold on. There was another horse in Kentucky racing. Three point is racing tonight. So good luck to everybody. I'll talk to you all very soon. Have a wonderful evening. Take care.